Howdy folks, Super Hamster here with a quick announcement before we get into episode 6 of Stardew Valley. Uh, something went wrong on the recording of about four episodes. Um, so we've jumped uh, a few days. Unfortunately it means we missed out on the Egg Festival. Um, see the nice picture here. Um, but yeah, the I've got the... I hit record, I synced up the videos, all well, the thing was recording... Uh, but for some reason, about two minutes into the picture or into the recording, um, the picture just freezes. And I've got the sound, I've got my commentary, but it, I've just got a 40 minute video file of my character stood in the forest, not doing a thing. Um, really annoying is that I recorded a whole bunch of series back to back without pausing in the middle. Uh, so I set an intro, recorded, uh, played for 10 minutes, did an outro, wait a few seconds, did an intro, recorded for 10 minutes. So I've lost them all. Um, so yeah, so we're jumping ahead uh, four or five days. Um, sorry about that. Nothing I can do, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, with Stardew Valley, you cannot reload a save. It, it saves as it goes. So we are done with that. Um, well, say la vie. Enjoy the episode. Howdy folks, Super Hamster back for another episode of Stardew Valley. You join us here on day 14. Just check tomorrow's weather report, see what's going on. And tomorrow's forecast is clear and sunny all day. Uh, the Queen of Sauce should teach us a new recipe. Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. And this week's dish, drumroll please, can't do drumrolls. Coleslaw. Envisioning bland mounds of limp cabbage, you're not alone, but a great coleslaw can do so much more. Make sure you have juicy fresh cabbage for this one. Toss in a little vinegar and mayonnaise and you're all set. Ah, that's crisp. You've learned how to cook coleslaw. And we'll just check the fortune teller just so we can. Meh, not on our side. Which is fine because we've got a job to do today. But first things first. We have crops to water. I know technically I didn't need to do that last one, but I don't like not having stuff watered. So. And nearly done with the crops. Well, if you recall, I'm just going to top this up, and what I don't remember, no, we haven't upgraded that yet, so I'm going to put this away in case we need the space. Do, 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 and I'm going to get rid of one of the cauliflowers. And the spring onions, the daffodils, some of those. And I think we're going to keep everything else. Because I want to keep at least one of pretty much everything, so. And all this stuff I'm going to put in there to make some money. We'll go and pat Hoburn on the head. And then if we go over to the journal, you'll see today's mission. Meet the wizard. And we need to build a, uh, build a scarecrow. Can we build a scarecrow, actually? Let's start with that. Craftables. 
We can build a scarecrow. We need wood. We have all these things. And as we've got a gap, now might be the time to do it. So we need fiber. We need coal. We need wood. Over to the crafting table. And let's build a scarecrow. And we'll put all this stuff back. And the scarecrow has an eight tile radius, which means we can place it here. And that should still get all the way up there, because that's only six. And it'll, when we eventually get there, it'll come down here. So that's fine. So we can now get back with our mission of going to find... No, I don't have my scythe with me. I was thinking it was over there, but it's not. So I'm going to go down here first. Hmm. What Jazz and Vincent doing? It smells. Hmm. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum, why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer done like this has to be a match for a big rusty old key. Hmm. There's something moving around in there. Probably. Rats. Dogs. Homeless person or something. Could be anything in there. I'm sure it's not a monster. Who? Or maybe it is. Who knows? Right, so the wizard. Was it on the other side of the lake? Oh, you're new. Pumpkin, spangle seed, coleslaw, puffer fish. A rare seed, so in full, takes a season to grow. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but... Oh well, I guess we've got a rare seed and no cash. Oh well. Well, let's go see the wizard and see what his beef is. Do 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 do. Sounded like a mission being completed. Come in. Yeah. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediary between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elements, keeper of the sacred char. You get the point. So, secret of the chalices of Beta Z or whatever it was called. And you, Super, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. This kind of kind of like Lemmy's hat, not like the beard, obviously, but. Here, yeah, I'd like to show you something. Eh, yeah, heard about these weird guys. Behold. Mm-hmm. Some sort of hallucinogenic apple. You've seen one before, haven't you? Yes, but everybody experiments in college. Uh, they call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones, for some reason they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community centre, but they have no reason but you have no reason to fear them. Mm-hmm. You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here, I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. handy 
Can I not go through his stuff while we're here? Oh. Dramatic exit. Rubbish intro. Uh, I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are the one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Is he going to ask us to take our clothes off now? One with the forest. What do they mean? Hmm. Aha. Come here. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, camel top, toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. Oh, now we've gone all weird and hallucinogenic. Mmm, leafy goodness. Trees. Hallucinogenic slime. More trees, which appear to be getting bigger and closer. More trees. I am one with the forest. The forest is with me. I am one with the forest. You've gained the power of forest magic. You can now decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Okay. So I guess we should head back. And, uh... Read the scroll. Which is in the community center. Sorry, I couldn't think for a minute there. do 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 Eh, where are we? It's 12. Well, let's go say hi to Lee. If you hear any banging from inside my hut, it's probably just me working on a sculpture. If that's what the kids are calling it these days. Do 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 do. I'm thinking I'm going to head to the beach and see if we can scrounge some stuff. Hello, Penny. The weather's interesting today, don't you think? Much the same as every day in Stardew Valley this time of year. Well, I suppose it's not raining, so... Oh, I see worms. I have worm poop. Or clay, as some people call it. Hello. Hope your new farming life is panning out. Yeah. It's the paranormal investigation side that's a little bit weird, but, you know. So these sea urchins. And corals. And off we go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now, I'm thinking that we need to get some more seeds, but I don't know if the shop is open on a Sunday. Been there for 20 years. That's splendid. I just wanted to say hi. Oh, it is open. That's cool. Um, That's probably a beginning of spring thing, so I might just get some more cauliflower. Potatoes. Potatoes are good. But we're full. We can't do anything. Okay. Um, I'm going to dump that piece of wood, because, you know, I don't need it. One whole piece of wood isn't going to do much. But it does clear up some space. Um, we'll plant some potatoes when we get back, which will be easy. 
because the ground's already fertilized and watered so we've literally just got to stick him in the ground so what's the scroll <laughs> <laughs> okay, why are you wobbling? Because I touched it with a mouse. Uh, right, so we're spring, aren't we? Are these the things they want us to bring? And they'll repair the bridge. Not sure what bridge they'll repair, but we've got those things. We can do that. Oh, what else we got? Uh, it's winter, summer. Exotic. Can we do these? Cactus, coconut, cave carrot. Okay, we can't do any of those. Um, wood, wood, hardwood, stone. We can do that, but I don't know about the hardwood. We should certainly be able to do some of them. We'll bear that in mind for another day. And why is this wobbling about? She gained experience from having a new crafting recipe. Oh, we built the scarecrow, didn't we? We could go and get a couple more potatoes. Hello, Caroline. Yeah, I'm going to grab a couple more potatoes before they close, and we'll go back and plant those. Jody taking the day off. Hokey dokey Jody. So we're getting a little late in the day. Um, I think I'm just going to head back, plant these potatoes up. Nothing worth grabbing there. So yeah, we'll go back, we'll plant these potatoes up. Uh, maybe chop some wood and then call that. A day. Why can I not? There we go. So we've got a funny line of potato. Uh, I've got some stuff to put away in there because we don't need any of it. And we'll keep the rare seed. Which I think said plant in, was it summer? In the fall. So we'll put that away. Uh, we don't have enough wood because we needed two lots of 99. And we need more stone. So I'm just going to go and gather all this stuff up. But I'll do that off camera. And uh, when you come back, it will be another day. So thanks for watching this episode. Go ahead, hit the thumbs up button. Help me spread the word. Help me expand the channel. Take over YouTube one subscriber at a time. And on that note, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well, if you haven't already. And Soup Hamster will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.